Hi and welcome to this video and in this video I've got a spline drawn up here and I'm going to populate it with some objects so the way we populate objects onto our spline is we select the object and we click on the spline when it goes red so we select an object we click on the spline when it goes red that's a left click so I can put objects on my spline so I'm going to do that and say right okay there's my spline pretty happy with this I think actually no I'm not happy with that I didn't want rocks on it I wanted something else. Well we can delete everything on the spline by pressing Control D and that will get rid of everything. Okay so let's decide we're going to put something else on here so we'll put trees on our spline, why not? So we now start populating some trees onto our spline. It's pretty big trees. Select the spline. Okay so I've put some trees on my spline and I think right okay I'm pretty happy with that, I don't need this spline anymore. So how do I get rid of the spline? Well the answer to that is I press Shift D and that gets rid of the spline and leaves the objects behind. So these were on the spline and now they're not and the spline is gone and it cannot be got back. Once you've deleted a spline it's gone. Okay so let's just get rid of these trees, I don't need those now. What we're going to do now is we're going to put a spline back in here and we're going to hide it. So there's my spline. Let's put some cubes on it. And then I'm going to press Shift H. And that will hide the spline. So what's the point of doing that? Well actually there's quite a big overhead in drawing a spline so if you've got a really complicated scene that you're doing and you start to feel that it's slowing down then pressing Shift H to hide splines is a really good option if you're not using them at the moment because it will stop drawing the spline. It will just have the objects to draw for you. And if you want to bring your spline back you can press Shift H again and it will bring the spline back. If you want to get rid of the objects on the spline it's Control D and if you want to get rid of the spline itself it's Shift D. Okay so that's all of the spline deletion, hiding and deleting objects on the spline stuff.